Bombardier Secret. So you can go to level five? I wonder how powerful that makes barrel bombs. That that seems kind of fun. I can't imagine it's that ridiculous, right? I mean, that would be that would be kind of crazy if it just like destroyed everything. Tell my wife, I'm an astronaut. Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome today, then, to the 15th weapon in Iceborne, Barrel Bombs! Oh yes, this build is just fantastic! You get to kill Elder Dragons in sub-10 minutes completely safely by just rolling around them and placing barrel bombs! Terms and conditions do apply, sometimes you will actually have to do something else with the likes of the monster and then you can use the minds of the light bulb moment to kill speed with them, because it's really easy to do as well and everything is going to work okay, please. So, what is actually going on here? Well, all the way back in high rank, I had a kind of just barely functional version of this build, but now in Master rank, well, we have Bombardier Secret, which lets your explosive power go up to level 5 for 50% more. On top of being able to just cram in all of the skills, we have ourselves one of the easiest to pilot builds that doesn't even really need you to use a weapon, though Light Bow Gun very much is the cherry on top. So how does this actually function? Well, first, the build we're working with is thus. And it's very simple, very easy to obtain, and all around a fantastic time. Of course, we want our three-piece clockwork, because that's where the Bombardier secret comes from. And then on top of that, we use Damascus for the focus, as we will be using Light Bowgun Mines to supplement this. And then finally, a little bit of Kashala for that sweet, sweet evade extender, so we can really get a zip on, never get hit, and just all around dance around the monster in glorious explosions. And it has some very solid slottage. Earplugs charm, because really, when it's roaring, you can do your clutch glory, you can get an extra round of bombs in. It's just very helpful, because we don't need really any offensive skills whatsoever. So this is how it gets decorated up. We end up with a little bit of ammo up and sleep attack because we will be using the light bow gun to sleep because barrel bombs, sleep bombings, I mean, that just works out and it means that this whole build runs in a lovely flow, a cycle that you just repeat and follow and all of the things die and we'll get to that in a little bit later. We obviously finish our focus off, we have some bonus part breaker which is really nice, especially for something like Bruna and Gigante, our totally willing test subject. <laughs> and it does let you use this build to snipe parts really quite succinctly. Then, of course, we have a lovely little bit of Palico Rally. This is great because you give your Palico a weapon that counters the monster, in this case, Dragon for Nergigante, and whack him on Mialatov, and he will just go to town. While you're rolling around crafting and placing bombs, he does a significantly nice little chunk of damage, as well as being a sturdy distraction for easier bombage. Everything else is kind of just as you want it. I don't really feel the need to finish health boost, I'd rather have the extra sleep attack, you just don't really get hit unless you play ridiculously sloppy or you're really bad. So of course, I managed to somehow cart doing this because I am really bad. My parents were so correct. <laughs> so how does this actually play in practice? Well, you need to take this item loadout with you. You need your gunpowder, your barrels, your large barrel bombs, and your megas with a farcaster to repeat the loop. What is the loop? So you go to your monster, and you can weave in flint shots and tenderizes as you wish, but the actual barrel bomb plan is as follows. You can go through nine mega barrel bombs, two that you start with, two that the large convert into, and then five more from just the barrels in standard. By. So, you get out your light bow gun, which does need to be the Beatodus one because it is rare 10, it has a hefty amount of sleeping capabilities, and it lets you put all the augments which you want to be, one extra slot for, well, one extra slot, and then the rest into status up to make your sleeping that much better, along with two recoils and two reloads so that you can do both sleep one and two 
easy peasy. So you sleep the monster, you put your three mines down, your two barrels, and you go kaboom. That is lovely. You then get through the rest of your seven barrel bombs. Use your radial menu so you can craft them real safely and easily, and slowly but surely you place them, you either lure the monster into them, blow them up yourself with the melee, just have fun with it because it really is quite fun. This will only take a minute or two. Once you've used all your mega barrel bombs, you farcaster back to camp, restock on your items and run back. This is why the focus is good, because generally the lining up is perfect so that once you have finished using your barrel bombs, you have all three of your mines back. So you run back to the monster, you sleep it again, you do the lovely wake up hit with your barrels and your free mines, then you use the seven remaining mega barrel bombs and thus you repeat. Sleep, mines, bomb, seven bombs, back to camp. 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 Bomb, ruin and Urgigante here only took four cycles and a, like a little bit in order to die. Less than 30 mega barrel bombs and it was the most relaxing thing in the world. It really is cathartic, absolutely blowing monsters to smithereens. And that's all it is. And what is crazy to me is just how well it works, because it really does work well. Essentially, just enjoy all of your kill screens looking something like this. Awesome. And I love sleep bombing, because one of the funniest things in Monster Hunter, and this essentially is all about that. And of course, it works on any given monster you might want it to. You can customize the build as needed for that purpose. So, really, there's not much to add here. So just enjoy your explodey good times. You have a lot of potential with this and you can shave off a lot of time depending on how efficient your camp runs are because I accidentally messed up and saved over my item set with an expended item set so I had to remake it in the middle of the hunt because I am the smartest man alive. And I could have done a lot more flinch shutting into a wall for some free damage, but I like to have my mini-map off because it's cleaner footage for you guys, so I have no bloody idea when the monster is actually mad or not without staring at his breath. And I don't know about you guys, but staring at a monster's mouth intensely trying to see if there's some <sighs> action is not how I want to spend my time hunting! Alright, I don't know where that came from, I guess. I guess I have something to work through there, but that is completely fine. That's the build, guys. That's your explosion fun times, and I hope you do enjoy using it. For now, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo, but I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kinda relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song, and don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.